Hey, my beauties, it's Chrissy Marie. You know what? I told myself I wasn't going to do that anymore because I do that in literally every video. But this is the look that I'm coming to you all with today out of the, uh, the crayon case, the matte book. I absolutely love it because it's all matte shades and they all bright, obviously, because that's just what Super Scent does. She does bright shit all the time. And if you know me, I am not a bright person. I do not do things like this. And I was so scared shitless that I thought I was going to be wasting my time. And I am just so happy how it turned out because I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's some minor things that I don't like. Like it's some blotchiness up here. That could be the concealer that I use. Uh, but I absolutely love it. So yeah, let's jump right into the video. Hey beauties, can I just say I am way out of my comfort zone right now. Way out of my comfort zone right now. Uh, I am trying this whole bold ass look and I am like way out of my comfort zone. I already did one eye off camera because again, I'm out of my comfort zone. I don't know what I'm doing. I still kind of, I am not feeling it at all, but I'm just going to continue to go with it. I'm coming, I am coming out of the, uh, the crayon case, the matte book. And I told myself I was going to buy this, this, uh, this palette and just basically do do something new and that's what I'm doing right now oh I am so out of my comfort zone I really don't even know if this look right like it looks neat but do I think do I think it's gonna come out right I don't know I don't know I really don't so I'm just gonna continue to do what I've been doing I'm gonna take the yellow the really bright yellow in this palette and basically I'm using this yellow as my transition shade oh no I didn't take the yellow Jesus see I'm going crazy I actually took the orange so I'm going to take the orange in this palette and I'm going to be using this as my transition shade Taking this burgundy color right here. Let me show you guys. Right. I'm taking the same brush that I used for the orange and just blending it out. This purple shade right here. And I'm going to be putting that in my crease. Not as high as I took the other shades. Taking the same shade or same brush that I used for the burgundy and just blending it out. After that, I'm going to cut my crease with the lightest shade of concealer that I have, which is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Medium 22. I was going to run out to the store uh, and get a white color, but or a lighter color, maybe like the whitest. I think I think uh, Makeup Revolution has like a white concealer, but the baby started getting a hold of. My attitude and I started getting irritated and uh, yeah I just didn't go so I'm just going to use this concealer I don't know if you guys can tell but I am so like out of my comfort zone like I do not do things like this I have never done no such thing <laughs> but 
I'm gonna uh, cut my crease all the way. Like my whole lid is gonna be cut. And yeah, I'm gonna speed this part up. After cutting the crease, I'm going to start packing the yellow and then the burgundy shade and then the purple. I don't know if you guys can see how blotchy this is, but this is so blotchy. I don't know if it's because of the base that I am using or if it's the actual color, the formula. Oh, Jesus, this is so blotchy. I'm gonna just leave that alone for right now because it's just gonna make me mad, honestly. And then I'm going to take the burgundy shade and start going in the middle. I just can't wait to get my P. Louise and then I'm gonna try this out again because this yellow is really blotchy. And again, I don't know if it's the formula of the shadow or if it's the fact that uh, the concealer that I am using, I really don't know. But I'm just gonna take my gel liner and I'm going to make a really thick, thick line Oh! This whole time, I wasn't recording. I am so pissed off. So, after putting on my lashes, I basically just took a blue from the palette, the purple and the yellow, uh, and I hit my waterline with the NYX white uh, white jumbo eye pencil. But so I took this. Let me just show you guys, cause I'm just so pissed off right now. I took this purple in the middle this on the outer corner and then this yellow on the inner and I sprayed my face afterwards now I'm just waiting for it to dry and these are Lily Lashes uh, the style Miami I just warm again for this video because I figured that it will go really good with this dramatic look I'm kind of feeling more more uh, confident about this look right now because at first, no, I did not feel confident at all. So I'm just going to take uh, Rosy Glow, Glories uh, from the crayon case. It's a highlighter powder that I have not used since buying it. And then I'm going to uh, put this in my inner corner. And I'm going to take Love Joy by MAC for blush. All right. And I just want to pair this with the nude lip. Obviously, I went kind of heavy on the eyes, so I just want to be 
I want to say responsible with the lip color. I don't want to put it on anything that's going to be too much. So yeah, I'm going to just use uh, London from NYX Cosmetics. And pair this with Skimpy and uh, Anastasia Lip Gloss. You know what, I'm going to take Downtown Beauty, which is a NYX pencil. It's a little deeper and I'm going to uh, just lightly touch up my lips. And just grab some mascara for the bottom lash line. So here's the finished look you all. I was really nervous at first because this is like totally out of my comfort zone. I do not do looks like this and if you go down my uh, videos you would notice that there is not a look like this ever. Uh, if you like looks like this and you want to see more looks like this from me, make sure you leave that in the comment section below. I'm just checking myself out because I can't believe how good it came out because I was so freaking nervous. I was so nervous. But I absolutely love it. If you guys like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video.